Hi, my name is Ola Osoka. I'm the CEO of Daystar Power Group. We're a company that provides solar power plants to businesses in West Africa, and I oversee our business in the region. So in university, my major was law. I also did a postgraduate degree focusing on banking law and financial regulation, but life has a funny way of turning. I most certainly thought that I would spend my life practicing law. As a matter of fact, my peers voted me least likely to transition out of law, but life has a way of steering you in a different direction. And I left the comfort of legal practice and have transitioned now and literally seen the light in renewable energy. I've most certainly had a fair share of bias and discrimination. It's an unfortunate reality of the life that we live in. And I think perhaps what has changed is my perspective in knowing that if you have a bias against me, that's a limitation on you and it's not reflective at all of who I am or what I can do. And I've learned also to lead with confidence and not second guess or doubt the value that I bring to the table. And I think why I have been able to be confident and lead with confidence is because on the back end, I have done the preparatory work, right? So I've invested in honing my craft, in doing the research and doing work that is very hard. So um, how do I answer bias and discrimination? I focus on the things within my control, that is my craft, and that is making sure that I'm bringing a confident game to the table. There have been many challenges, I think, navigating what is ultimately a nascent industry. But top of mind right now is, which is not peculiar to me, is navigating the COVID-19 pandemic so with the pandemic came not only supply chain disruptions which affected our business but also delays in financing delays in project rollouts and having to manage the clients that were, the, were on the other end of the table as well as our growing team and stakeholders and i think what really helped me was leading with honesty and being transparent and taking all the stakeholders along from that place of honesty and and being open I love, love, love the work that we do at Daystar Power because not only are we providing cleaner energy and helping companies decarbonize their electricity supply, but we're also offering significant cost savings. So we offer the systems with no capital expenditure, which has been historically a barrier for people going green. So we're financing the systems, we're delivering up to 40% reduction in energy costs. And that's quite significant because that money can be unlocked by these businesses to, for instance, build new plants, employ more people, um, create more jobs. And that ultimately has a trickle down effect to the economy. And this is really how economies are built with cheaper power, cleaner energy, and more jobs and capital in the ecosystem. The mantra that I always live by is always show up, be present, remember to refill your cup and pour out to others. If you're looking to take up a job in a male dominated space, I think the first thing that comes to my mind is don't run away from the uncomfortable process. Gold is refined from a process that is high pressure and typically uncomfortable. So create opportunities and don't run away from opportunities that may seem uncomfortable and at high pressure because that's how you hone your craft, that's how you learn, and that's how you um, increase your skill set. The other thing I will say is be confident. You can be the most intelligent person in the room and nobody will know if you don't speak up. So communicate clearly and with confidence and don't second guess your value. Um, I think the last point I will make is around being emotionally intelligent. So learn to read the room. Ultimately, whether it's your clients, your peers, and your broad stakeholders, everyone is a human being. So read the room, know where they're coming from, what their challenges are, and approach them from that human perspective of, this is another person on the other side of the table, and I need to see that person. So those are the three tips I would have. Be confident, don't run away from high pressure, and see the other human beings around you. I most certainly will forge positive visibility of women.